until you got to cut something else. Like my fingers? Mm -hmm. You cut my fingers last night. Yeah, Pretty well, good. you shouldn't have swiped at me when I stabbed you in the ass. <laughs> right. Wait, what? <laughs> so he, I'm, I'm standing in front of him, and he goes, pook, and I'm like, stop it. And <laughs> I slam my hand on the knife. That's good parenting right there. <laughs> the best, uh, not that bad. I just got two little itty bitty cuts. I was right. talking with Nikki one time, and I'm, uh, uh, we're just having a conversation. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cutting up some stuff. And, you know, I'm just pretending I'm Italian, talking with my hands, and the knife slips out of my hands. Oh! <laughs> hits her right in the leg and sticks. Oh! oh shit. Good thing so, she's a nurse. Yes. Oh, PT. Oh. So. So there's probably no therapy for uh, getting stabbed in a leg. stabbing wounds, yeah. So pulled it out. She has a scar. She reminds me I'm from on it. <laughs> Is it weird to wear your own bands? Yes. Okay. It's against the rule, unless you're Kiss. Unless you're I say kiss. no. No, you can. Man. So we can all wear yeah. the same shirt. Oh, maybe maybe like, not to concerts maybe or like something like see. that. but Yeah, maybe like a small logo, like a different one for the, the member. No, no, it's got to be giant. It's got to be huge. <laughs> and like I'm going to have... About logos? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have like a rocket pointing right at the belly button. My first actual ska show that wasn't Five Iron Frenzy or Supertones was... Less than Jake. Mm -hmm. And for a week, actually two weeks leading up to that concert, I tried to learn how to skank. Like in my office watching skanking videos and then we didn't, we didn't, I didn't get to skank down. Yeah. But, but I do not that hard. Yeah. I mean, if you can floss, you can skank. He can't I, floss? I, I can floss. I can no. floss. Wait, Dude. how do you skank? Can you just tell me how to do it? How do you do do skank? Here's your guy who floss. All together now. Yeah. So okay, he floss. I yeah, got nothing. Good. I've never done the floss. Yeah, you gotta do this. Okay. Is this in three? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's a drop. What the hell is your base? You show us what a skank is. I can stand. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got that stand. Alright, how do you do it? Suit coat like, Dave's gonna skank. <laughs> the basic skank is just a punch and a kick. Just this usually opposites. What? And that's what well, it is. <laughs> That's most of it. You're just, Wait. you know, to the beast. <laughs> oh my god! That's it. You're yeah. kicking your legs out too much. That's it. Is my dipper? Sometimes instead of an out, you'll do like an up, you know? So you just. Oh! <laughs> in the instance like that, like in your mind, there's a lot of room. So you just. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> it. All right. That's the skinny. So can you skank and trumpet at the same time? Absolutely not. Oh, for not. sure, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just whenever you're not playing, just do the skank. <laughs> just look like I'm trying to do some Irish backpacking. Yeah, all right. So we know how to skank. Yeah, I'll send you an email. We're the funnest. Yeah. We're the best. So the second time I saw Les and Jake, uh, took Silas. But the lead singer uh, pulled a couple of kids out of the stage and brought them up to hang out on stage while they played because you know, because he's a, a an old guy in his 40s like we are, and he's got yeah. kids too, and he's, and he's like, hey kids, come up on stage. <laughs> Invite Free him. candy. Yeah, free candy. <laughs> We're not creepy. Sends them, out the, sends them out into the crowd to crowd surf, you know, and this kid's probably like eight or nine years old. And literally, they they kick him off the stage, and he makes a lap all the way around. He goes, and this was at Mr. Small's, and it does like a big yeah. half moon all the way, and he, he doesn't come quite over us, but like he did a real good circuit. And Amanda's standing in front of me, and she's like, she turns around to me, that's really sweet that they put the kid out and, and let him crowd surf. I'm like, yeah, that's really cool. And then Silas taps me on the shoulder from behind. He's like, I wonder how many people touch his pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so there's, you know, a couple of different opinions about how a ska show could go. I don't know, but. Yeah. Okay. You're the only one in this room that's not an engineer. Yeah, I know. You're the only one in here that's classically trained. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of so engineers, there's word that Sammy B would be interested in playing with us. Who's that? Yeah, how did that go? Also another engineer. Who? Sam. Sammy B. B. Sammy B. B. Sammy B. Um, Big Bowser. Big Bowser. We went to um, Star Wars. And he's sitting next to me, and he's like, what's this goofy shit you're doing with Dave? 
And I'm, and I'm like, you know, we're playing music and having a good time and being ridiculous. Do you want to do it? He's like, maybe. Yeah, he just needs to get a saxophone. Or I need to get mine fixed. Yeah. And then... The sax? Mm. <laughs> How much is a sax that Sam would play? Uh, uh, probably like four or five hundred bucks. See, I can see Sam spending like... I think he said he looked at a tenor that was already repadded. Mm. And it was like... Like five hundred bucks. I can't remember the, but it was in that range. It's the devil's instrument. It was banned from a lot of orchestras. You've probably heard about some of really? this in your. Yeah, your, everybody hates a saxophone. Why? Because it's just it's it's, it's awful. Like the, the music that people write for it is really odd. Like you you think it's just all over the place. Like people will be playing saxophone. It's very atonal. So it's it doesn't sound like anything. Like you know. Do you understand what I mean by atonal? Yeah. Atonal is like really weird, like just like stuff that really doesn't make any sense. Like yeah, like rock and roll music makes sense. Like heavy metal all makes sense because there's what, like what's the sound that it makes again? <laughs> it's so dumb. That's not. That's seriously what they write for. That's Charlie Parker though. That's like Charlie Parker. No, 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 no rip out some riffs <laughs> no it's, it's it's very the music behind it doesn't make any sense so like even the piano is playing weird stuff like that it's like 12 tone stuff so like 12 tone is whenever you have to use every single pitch in like so like all the way from c to c you have to use all those pitches in some random order before you can use no, you're allowed to drop some mad educational heat i think it's necessary mm. So the idea is, we take Sammy D out for cigars, and we sweet talk him into playing with us, and that makes Sammy D your bitch. <laughs> Sammy D ain't no classically trained instrumentalist, you know. He, he just knows how to push. He knows, some he knows how to. He knows mash how to blow buttons. through. Yeah, he can mash the buttons and and blow through the horn. You got to write the parts. We need to do a skank test before we go to the band. Yeah. <laughs> in Havana House. In Havana House? Get them to skank? And then get the rest of the, the, the customers at Havana House to skank. <laughs> <laughs> All with cigars in their mouth. All with cigars. With it. So I think okay. that's what we should work on today is ironing out that intro to a song we haven't written yet. Okay, so I've got some really juicy stuff popping in my head for no reason right now. So for intro, we do the big chord entrance, but we, we shorten it down to maybe like two or three, right? And make it a little bit faster. Okay. <clears throat> and then get you playing some upbeats going, and then you get a nice bass riff going. And I, I feel like, have you ever seen the movie Ratatouille, the Disney Pixar movie? Unfortunately. Okay. It, it's got that like French feel, and like it's got like a mis I'm, I want a mysterious tone to go with this. And I just want like a relaxed intro. It'll be real quick. I have no idea how I'm going to get this down on paper. All right.